haste and get this from the Lord. I just come the, mo the way I received him in a very definite way. At a very definite moment, and I receive Christ as my Savior. That same definite experience today, I commit my life to Christ as my shepherd. And now today, finally, I commit my life to Christ as my sovereign. And I say, reign King Jesus. Reign King Jesus over my life, over every decision of my life. You are now my King. Savior shepherd sovereign he is today he'll be for you let's rise up and talk to the lord in prayer make him let him be the savior yes a savior and let him be the shepherd yes he is shepherd and let him be the sovereign king lord talk to the lord and say lord now I understand the lord is my shepherd but first he must be my savior In a very definite way, you surrender your heart, your life unto Jesus the Savior. Then you remember the day, the time, the moment when you surrendered yourself to him like that. Say, Lord, sin will not rule over me anymore. You died for my sin. You died to take my sins away. And now I give myself, I surrender myself to you in a very definite way. Nothing withholding. I surrender. I give up. Give up. Give up. My heart, my life, my will unto you. And I accept, I receive the forgiveness. You are my Savior. After you've settled that, you've sealed that decision, commitment, move another step and say, Lord, I take you today as my shepherd. My needs are supplied by you. My wants, my lacks, as, as, are supplied by you. You are my shepherd. And I commit myself in a very definite way to shepherd care. I will not be going out and coming in the fold. I'm not part of the fold of Christ. I am sheep, not goat, not wolf, not snake. I'm sheep in the fold. And I'll be obedient to the word, to the teaching of the shepherd. And Lord, I take you in a very definite way to be my king, to be my sovereign. No more struggling. No more fighting against the divine will. I will no more stand as a rival to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I turn over the reign of my life, the rule of my life, the direction of my life, the control of my life unto you, Savior, Shepherd, Sovereign. No more my will, but 
thine be done. All personal opinion crushed, cancelled, destroyed. Self will crushed, conquered, destroyed. Well, the clay strive against the porter, Lord, that will be no more in my life. No more struggling, no more fighting against the revealed will of God. Now there will be total submission to your will. Total submission to your way. Total submission to your word. Lord, in a very definite way today, I give up my past practice of arguing against your will, against your word. You are not only my savior, you are my shepherd, you are my sovereign, my king, my lord. In all details of my life, in all areas of my life, in all the needs I experience in my life, you are my savior, you are my shepherd, you are my sovereign. And now, Lord, I commit myself to live to your glory. Not seeking my own glory. Not seeking what I want. But, Lord, just what you want. Lord of my life, Lord in every detail, lead and I will follow. Teach and I will obey. Instruct and I will live to the glory of your name. Be the Lord, be the King, be the Sovereign, the Sovereign Lord. I surrender all, I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, Shepherd, and Sovereign. I surrender all. I yield my heart, my life, every detail of my life. No more struggling. With what your day for my life, what your point? You have received the message from our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, the general superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your heart. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O oh Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week, and the one we are going to listen to the next week, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. If you tarry, we shall listen together once again next week. And if not, every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.